Here's an illustration from uh, a person named Adler, and she was in on the social planning back in the 60s. And um, the uh, their idea was to put everybody the this was the precursor to the 15 minute cities that you're that you're seeing popping up and they're talking about and they're trying to implement it in in England right now. Uh, Oxford is, is actually I think believe I believe it's already uh, initiated it. And uh, you know the Saudis were going to create that city called. Uh, Neom, that line city, well, that got nixed because of the uh, soon-to-be World War III that's happening there. So, so those dreams were dashed. But uh, this this plan here, uh, and if you if you look at the uh, series Snowpiercer in the movie previously, it, it it also takes off on this concept. So, if y'all remember in school, you played a game called Telephone, where you got in a line and you whispered. And the you know the information changed by the time it got to the end of the circle back to back to where you were, but the people that run the world want to do a version of this in these 15-minute cities. That way, they can control all of the information you get. Now, back in the day, they thought about this kind of structure. This was before really computers. Uh, now they they can get around doing it. So I'm taking this book, by the way, from uh, my friend Tex Mars, who went to be with the Lord a couple of years ago, Days of Hunger, Days of Chaos. He wrote this book in 1999, uh, pretty prophetic in a lot of ways. Uh, hardly anybody knows this, but I joined many secret societies, a total of five, and uh, I'm talked to Tex after he became famous, well, rather infamous. Now, he never really became famous. He became infamous uh, in the 80s, and I started channeling, or, or channeling's a bad word. Uh, I started giving him information about the societies that I belong to, and uh, he used that in several of his books. He was a very prolific author, and... Uh, uh, his ministry still goes on, and I, I contributed, I don't know, probably a little bit to, to his books. He was a very, very smart man, a very prolific author, and uh, not all his stuff is based on stuff that I gave him, but I'd like to think at least 10% was. So anyway, this is uh, Days of Hunger, Days of Chaos, and uh, it's coming to pass the things he says in this book about how they're trying to, you know, the carbon footprints. Now, he doesn't talk, there is no carbon footprints talked about as such, but you control the food and the water, and you control the people. Uh, anyway, check it, check out any of his works are good. Thank you, I'm out.